Hey guys, it's Chris with Better Editor, and today I'm kicking off a short series to help make your life easier. Thanks to the guys at Mamma World. They've developed a plugin called Automation Blocks, and it might be one of the most powerful plugins for Premiere Pro I have ever seen. Seriously, if you do any sort of repetitive task inside of Premiere, and who doesn't, um, this plugin is going to be an absolute game changer for you. So today I'm going to take a brief look at what Automation Blocks is and show you how you can use it to help speed up your exports and keep them more organized. Okay, so if you're anything like me, anytime you create and edit these days, you also have multiple versions that you have to recreate in different aspect ratios. So you've got your 16 by nines, you've got your one by ones, your four by fives, your nine by 16s, you get the idea. So what makes this extremely tedious though, is once you export all of these sequences, you then have to jump into Finder and create your own folders to match your bin structure where everything was so neatly organized, your one by ones, your four by fives, so on and so forth. Wouldn't it be nice if we could make it happen automatically? Well, now there's a way. So if we go back into Premiere Pro and open our extensions and then point at automation blocks, right off the bat, you'll see that automation blocks comes with so many built in blocks, automations ready to go. Mateus at Mamo World has put together a lot of great tutorials on how to use automation blocks, not only on how to use what's already built in, but how to write your own custom scripts, which is exactly what he helped me with with this export bin script. So let's look at what's going on under the hood. I'm going to make this a little bigger. And with export bin selected, I'm going to look up at the script that what we have is a bunch of block code. What makes automation blocks powerful is that you can create your own blocks of code and build them together by simply dragging and dropping and clicking together and choosing options. Now, I will be the first to tell you that it is pretty intimidating, all the options that you're able to go through, all the different things that you're able to do with automation blocks, but that is why it's so powerful. So again, take a look at the playlist that Mateus has created so you can understand how to start using this and building your own scripts to do your own custom workflows. I'm going to leave that to him. For now, let's go look at how to export all of these clips with their bin structure intact. So to simply do that, we're going to grab all of our sequences, and then I'm going to make sure that export with bins is selected. And we have some formats we can choose, H.264, ProRes, or ProRes 4x4. You can also import your own custom formats, which I'll show you how to do in just a minute. So first, let's do H.264. I'm going to choose that, go to my export folder, and we're going to say exports, great, and I will say run. And what Automation Blocks does is goes through all of our selected sequences and adds them into Media Encoder with the output file path set to our bin structure. Now it is going to include the entire root structure of the bin. So I have sequences, racing, and then the aspect ratios. We can clean that up when we're done. But let's go ahead and render these out. Okay, ta-da. So now if we look in Finder, we have our entire bin structure converted to folders for us. Pretty nice. So we'll take that, drag it over here, get rid of these two, boom, done. All right, back in Premiere Pro, you can see that exporting your sequences with their bin structure intact can definitely save you some time, especially when you start talking about multiple, multiple bins that you're going to have to export at once. Um, the more bins you have with the more sequences, the more time you're going to save. Now, if you want to use your own export format, if H.264 isn't good for you, you don't want ProRes 422 or 4x4, and you need a custom format for your workflow, what you're going to do is select your sequences, Come over here, click Custom, choose your Export folder again. So choose Folder, Exports, Open. Okay, and now we're going to say Run. When you do that, you're going to be prompted with a message to choose your own Media Encoder preset. So again, hit OK, and go to your presets. There'll be a Media Encoder and our presets. And I'm going to choose this ProRes proxy version with timecode just as an example. So we'll open that up, and Automation Blocks now starts running. And we're loading up that preset into Media Encoder. When Automation Block says we're done, we can check out Media Encoder, and look at that, ProRes Proxy with timecode. Pretty nice, right? Okay, one last thing. I need to show you how to add your own user presets to the Automation Blocks library. So you can download the bin exporter preset that we've been using in the description below. Um, to get it set up inside of Automation Blocks, you need to go up to your preferences inside Automation Blocks, 
and it defaults to going to your documents folder where automation block saves all of its presets. I'm going to change this um, to where I keep these things on my local drive. So doot, 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 done. Great. And we'll say, okay. And now a user library folder opens up and inside that folder are other folders that you can add. We'll talk about shot logs later. Um, so that's one of the folders that I have. And you'll notice that the automation that we've been using the entire video is not in here. That's because I want to show you how to add it. So to do that, we're going to go to Finder. We're going to take our export with Ben's XML file, find our Mamo World Automation Blocks folder, and I'm going to move this here. Great. Now we can come back into Automation Blocks, and we'll probably need to close it. So close the panel, go back and open it again. And there's our export with Ben's preset. Okay, if you think automation blocks could be helpful for your workflow, I hope you'll go to aescripts.com and check it out. You can also find that link in the description. If you like this video, please subscribe and maybe hit that like button and also check back soon when we talk about some more workflow improvements that we use automation blocks for. See you soon.